we have Tyrone Johnson Newland, and Tyrone is part of our Emerging Artists series. It's a joint project between the Cayuga Museum and the Schweinfurth Art Center. And the idea is that we will select an artist who will have an exhibition in both places. He has these abstract paintings that are part of his exhibit here. And next door, um, when he's done speaking about this work, we're going to go next door. And he has two galleries in the Cayuga that has his works about his travels in Panama. Starting here, uh, Pick Me um, is really kind of an overpainting. Um, the original painting was actually uh, called Take a Knee. It was, uh, I painted it during the high protest times, um, right during, actually during the middle of COVID when um, I was very productive. Um, but it kind of sat around, didn't really see the light of day, didn't leave the basement, and I, I actually had an opportunity to do a show in New York last fall for Fashion Week. I had one piece accepted, and then like two weeks prior to the show, the gentleman called and said, hey, I've got another space. Do you have any more work? I'm like, oh, well, not. And they were trying to gear it towards fashion, as you can see. Maybe it's not very fashion week oriented. So I was like, what am I going to do? So I kind of worked the flower piece started and then kind of just went, uh, completed it with the bust. Um, as you can see, there's the, the whole bust form is kind of repetitive in some of my stuff. Uh, my wife over there thinks they're scary people, but um, I try to bring a lot of color to them. And maybe it's maybe there's a little darkness behind some of the thoughts, but I try to brighten it up with the colors and still let you go in another direction if you want to see it. So when I applied for this show, these, these were done. This, this wasn't an issue. I knew I could fill this and I even have more. Next door, I had been teasing with an idea with doing a Panama show for a while. I think I might have had 10 started when I applied, thinking, yeah, it's not going to happen. But it, was, it seemed like the right timing that, uh, again, it was kind of if you could apply and do something in a juxtaposed position. I was like, well, what's better? I got this. And then we can kind of do something in that space. So when I got the news, I was like, Okay, and I started looking at the floor plan. I'm like, oh my lord, I'm going to need like 20 to 30 paintings over here. I've got 10 started. And when I got the news, I was a week, week and a half away from going to Panama for two weeks. And then when I got back, I had a month. So I banged out there's just 28 of them over there in less than three months. Well, thank you for making this trek over here. Uh, so these are my, pa my Panama paintings. Um, there's 28 of them. When I started these, it was just kind of searching for a new topic, something that I could do in a series. If I had ever moved down there and wanted to do a type of show, how would I go about doing something? Uh, our piece here, Dream Studio. Uh, this is actually a true uh, house structure in Boquette, uh, Panama, that we were just walk in the streets and uh, just a very cool little house. I took a picture of it, ended up posting it and sending it to my mother-in-law. She said, oh, that is so beautiful. She's like something. And I was like, yeah, I said, that would be my dream studio. I said, if we could just move here tomorrow, I would buy that house and we would live in it and I'd be able to paint on it. It was just very cool. And she's like, oh, you got to do a painting of it. The, I don't want to say the struggles I had with these is size. And I found myself going back to uh, my graduate work of illustration, and I was like, you can't get bogged down in trying to be an illustrator. So I put it off. Put it, I'm like, I'm not going to do it because there's no way I can do an expressionistic representation of that house without making it look like a house. So I debated and debated, and then finally I was like, I need another painting. <laughs> so this was actually the last one that got done, and I tried to, again, it, I, tried not to go the traditional route, but it was hard not to. And, um, but the, colors, the color of the property was green anyways, and uh, the pink was just kind of added, and there she is. But that, that's probably the most, the truest traditional that you'll see in here, obviously. And um, again, I, there was many that I, could, I fought with uh, when I started and going, you're, you're going down the wrong path. That's, you gotta think back to your big paintings and just make it in a smaller form. And